Thanks for clicking on to the Saturday edition of Vogan's European Outlook. It is the 17th of May, and yes, I was planning to have a day off today. However, there was a couple of things that I wanted to make mention of that uh, I forgot in yesterday's video, and uh, really it's it's the the thinking towards the, the, the change that's taking place as we move towards the end of the month. But also, the man Julian oscillation has not really been a factor in recent weeks. Uh, there hasn't been much amplitude with the uh, with fortion within the tropics, but yet there is changing taking place. We are starting to see an increase in convection towards the maritime continent. And another thing that I wanted to make mention of. So basically, this is the by the way, it's going to be a kind of a, a hopefully a, a short and sweet video today. Uh, do check out the uh, the live stream tomorrow 4 p.m. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below today's video for that. So um, back with the live tomorrow. But uh, before we um, look at uh, a couple of other things in a second, this is the GFS. This is the, the 200 millibar velocity potential anomaly. So essentially the greens represent rising motion within the atmosphere. The oranges represent sinking motion. This is uh, essentially where we're at at the moment. We do have some sinking take place over the Atlantic, the Americas. We've got the subsidence over the West Pacific and very little in the way of upward motion over the Indian Ocean and the Maritime Continent. But if we play through this loop, this is off the GFS operational, by the way. You can start to see uh, the greens gathering force. We're starting to see darker greens showing up over the Indian Ocean and the Maritime Continent. Stronger subsidence over the Americas and over the Atlantic. This is towards the end of May. And this may be helping give the atmosphere that kick that it needs. And it may set the tone for the month of June. Uh, remember, a lot of the longer range models indicating uh, above average precipitation and lower pressure uh, north of the UK, drier than average and higher than average pressure down towards Iberia and uh, this could be courtesy and we're also going to start to see a little bit more of an activation the jet stream over the Atlantic we're seeing uh, a little bit more flattening showing up in the models but also another interesting factor is this drip effect of the stratospheric warming that took place early March um, the final warming uh, essentially I think that's been uh, leading to a contributing factor as to why the pattern has been so persistent uh, throughout the course of this spring. Uh, it's not been just the past three or four weeks. It's been since the beginning of, of the spring season and we've, we've seen this block and recurring theme, this kind of recurrence of, of, of the same pattern. It's going to be interesting to see, you know, I've got a week left. I'm continuing to build the ideas. The summer forecasts will be released uh, a week tomorrow and uh, but it's it's very interesting how we're starting to see in this eastern hemisphere uh, upward motion versus uh, subsidence over the western hemisphere now look at this here this was a tweet here by judah cohen expert on the the, the polar vortex and the stratosphere and uh, essentially that early warming uh, that took place a way back at the beginning of of, uh, of, of March uh, and the spring season, we've seen this downward propagation of above average heights. So this is the poor mean poor cap heights, and essentially the the, the orangey colours represent blocking within the uh, atmosphere, anywhere from the very top of the stratosphere all the way down to the bottom of the troposphere where our weather resides. Now you notice here uh, towards the uh, the middle portions of April, we've seen. Some blues showing up in the very lower portions of the, the troposphere here. We've also seen more prominent blues towards the end of April and through the majority of May. We've actually seen lower heights up towards the Arctic region. But notice that we are going to start to see another building of pressure over the Arctic that may in fact uh, lead to uh, some something colder coming into Europe. We're seeing that um, at the moment over Eastern Europe, but that colder theme may take us into the early portions of a uh, early portions of June and 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 the twenty twenty five summer. 
So essentially what I'm getting at here is towards the end of the month, we're seeing low pressure return to the UK and Ireland. We're seeing a little bit more activation of the jet stream off the Atlantic. But also we're going to start to see pressure build in either west um, and northwest up towards Greenland, but over the Arctic region as well. And that could set a tone for later down the road. It may be a blip, it may not be. But nevertheless, I thought it was interesting to see how this kind of downward propagation of, of above average pressure over the Arctic region is, is going to come back into play once again. So looking at the North Atlantic Oscillation, you can see that it is going negative, which is rather interesting. Looking at the Arctic Oscillation, you can see here that uh, it is going neutral. It's not actually going really particularly negative, but the, that NAO going negative is quite interesting. The Man Julian Oscillation here um, going towards the maritime continent. You can see here again, it's within the inner circle, so there's not a great deal of amplitude with the according to the GFS. But that being said, you only have to look at the latest run of the GFS operational, and you can see that the the, the upward motion is focusing over the uh, West Pacific and uh, the maritime continent. Looking at the uh, other aspects, then this is off the GFS extended. Upcoming seven day period here, so obviously we'll remain in this high pressure dominant pattern through the majority of the upcoming work week, and then we will start to see changes taking place towards the end of the work week. But I want to draw your attention we've obviously got the most anomalous high pressure within the 500 millibar anywhere in the northern hemisphere, uh, you know, essentially just to the north of the British Isles, extending up towards Iceland. Here we've got this uh, standing wave pattern. I made mention of this. Uh, a couple of days ago about the, the, the ridges and troughs being stuck in place, uh, promoting uh, unusually cool conditions over Eastern Europe, uh, unusually dry and, and mild conditions across Western Europe, but also promoting very unusual heat across uh, Central and Western Asia. Uh, we've seen an early uptick in the monsoon, pre-monsoon showers, and even the monsoon beginning to arrive in the south of India. It's unusually early to see that taking place but watch what happens remember keep in mind what i'm saying about the manjulian oscillation and also the uh, the build-up of pressure up towards greenland and the arctic once again so as we play through this loop you can see that the pressure is building north but also west of the uk and we're starting to see a little bit of a trough developing over the uk and ireland this is a period here final week of may so saturday 24th through saturday the 31st of may GFS extended is indicating that we've got a negative over the UK and Ireland. Notice here that the pressure is stronger out over the Atlantic. So we're kind of flipping the pattern between Atlantic and Europe, uh, you know, around. Rather than having low heights over the, uh, the, the Atlantic and above average over the UK and Ireland, we're seeing the opposite taking place. And is it possible that uh, this may be somewhat responsible, given that cattle pro to the atmosphere that it needs to then kind of start to give it the kick that it, you know to kick it out of the mode that it's it's been stuck at for some time here um so you can see here as we continue to play through off the gfs extended uh, we've got the uh, positive heights uh, west of the uk shutting down the atlantic we're seeing the pressure up over the arctic region building as well which is interesting and that trough is kind of stuck over the UK and Ireland. So uh, this is going to be an interesting follow as we step out of the spring and begin the month of uh, of June and a new season, obviously, as well. But, uh, yeah, nonetheless, I, I, essentially, I'm just kind of talking out, uh, thinking out loud, should I say, uh, and, and, and wanting to share uh, these couple of thoughts with you in today's video so that's it for today like i say reasonably short and sweet not showing an awful lot but uh, i just wanted to talk about the potential uh, kick from the tropical fortune the what's going on within the uh, within the arctic region at the 500 millibars and you know the turn to something more unsettled and, and, and you know potentially cool to begin the, the summer season uh, especially if we've got the a trough kind of stuck in place over UK and Ireland, dragging in some colder Arctic air, uh, maybe a, a rather chilly start to the summer season. So, yeah, 
Join me tomorrow at 4 p.m. as usual for the 140th edition of the Global Weather Report live. And I'll see you again on Monday with the European Outlook. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.